world of sports is vast. So much history to absorb and pass along. By promoting family and community, Can I Play brings knowledge to the parents and players by providing a correlation between the sports playbook, real life experiences, and athleticism. By introducing a modernized perspective on sports while also staying true to the history of the game and the raw reality of the society we live in, we can encourage the next generation by seeking to educate, equip, empower, inspire, and lead our athletes. The youth are the future and it is our responsibility to help develop and nurture them. Can I Play is instrumental in helping develop young athletic leaders who will be educated, knowledgeable regarding good fitness and health, prepared for continued education and future career opportunities, self-accountable and possessing of leadership skills, and wholesomely fulfilled and capable of sharing their newfound knowledge and growth with their peers and community. This is Can I Play Football. You know, what football means to me, it means me spending time with my husband. Football's just been in my family for generations. It's Friday Night Lights. Game of life. Football. Football has always meant teamwork to me. It provides young men with the opportunity to learn teamwork, discipline, and character needed in life. It's the ultimate team sport. 11 guys on both sides of the ball with a common goal, which is to move the line of scrimmage and impose their will on the guy across. You cannot expect your high school coach to get you recruited. So I think the onus is on us, you know, as adults, you know what I'm saying, to give back to these kids and make sure that we, you know, spend quality time with these kids to develop these kids. This isn't just football. You've got to handle your business in the classroom as well. Every player has the dream of going to the end of the game. Gave up the game when he touched that. My dad's words to me when he came to the hotel after the game was, he said, um, you knew what it was when you signed up for it. seven guys from DeSoto that's going into the draft. These guys, whether they're drafted or not drafted, they're going to sign and they're going to be with somebody two weeks from now. It's a lot of guys that have coached in the NFL, so, I mean, do these guys are talking about? Test is every Sunday. Have you prepare yourself to pass and fail that test? It's going to determine on how you approach that whole week leading up to the test. Soto means to me family. The Soto is a very tight community. Our youth. We, we partnered up with the school in the athletic program because I think it's very valuable that uh, these young athletes have uh, a connection with the police. If Soto was in a battle with anybody else, I want you to sign me up on the front lines because I'm ready to fight for this place, man. I love this one and I, I always tell them because it, it's, uh, it's a better place to work. Being involved within the community and knowing that no matter where you go, you represent DeSoto at all times and all the nonprofits and the city governments, uh, they all set a high standard. Soto has one of the highest income levels per capita than any community in the best Southwest region. We've been cutting hair in Soto for like the last 18 years. And since, since, since I got involved in the league and kids, it's like God just really has just blessed me and my business, blessed me as a man. DeSoto is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I believe that the community is just one that's very tight-knit, family-oriented. Um, I appreciate that we are a family. DeSoto. Yeah.